Hello, on this cold, crappy morning. Actually, it looks beautiful out there. I shouldn't complain. It's snow. It's not snowing right at the moment. I think we have about oh, 12 inches or so. Yeah, but it is beautiful out there if you're not in it. <laughs> I'm Sandy McKenzie of the Lumber Mill. And today I'm just going to wing it. I'm coming on a little, little bit later than I thought. Um, I've been trying to work out a couple of technical difficulties and yay, I've got one person watching. Thank you. Can't really see who it is. Not sure there's, if you want to comment, you're welcome to. So today, I'm just winging it. I'm going to do some paper clay. This is uh, air dry. IOD, Iron Orchid Designs. Um, and you can get it, I got mine online, but I'm sure in the States, I'm sure you'll be able to find it easy. It's really popular right now. Um, I saw a video last night, Brenda at Good Shepherd Creations was using it on her piece. And then I saw, um, Jocelyn, um, Jocelyn at Holy Chick Vintage Rehab and Designs. They kind of inspired me to do it. And then also, um, a painter's daughter, last week she was, a painter's daughter was doing some self shitter, um, self shelf sitters. Oh my gosh, <laughs> totally blew that. Um, and she was just, just some cute little decorations to sit on a shelf or in like a, like a tiered tray or something. So I thought, oh, that's a cute idea. I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to, this is one I did for Christmas. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's pretty bright. You know what? I'm gonna shut off this light because it's pretty bright. I don't think I need it. No, that's good. That's better. Um, I'm right by the window, so. Okay, so I did this church, um, and I'm gonna do something like that. I won't get to the painting today, but it just sits on a shelf or like on a little tear tray, and I'll, um, I'll post some pictures next week when I get a bunch done. I'll post a, a bunch of pictures on um, what you can do with it and how to stage it. And staging is going to be um, uh, something new for me, but hey, everything here is new for me, I think. I just, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, learning, and what better way to learn than uh, just do it, just go for it. I see two people watching. Thanks for joining me today. So, like I said, I'm going to do this uh, paper clay um paper clay and I'm going to put it in molds. Today I think I'm going to work with bees. I love bees and maybe a little bit of decoration and, and you glue it onto a board and and uh, yeah I'm just going to use glue it with wood wood glue and so usually I take a paintbrush and I just dab in some cornstarch um, of course, I ran out of cornstarch, so I thought I was going to use baking soda, and uh, of course, being a creative person, my baking soda wouldn't be in my pantry with all my baking supplies. No, it would be in with my craft supplies, so I can't find it. I'm sure you guys have this problem too. So I'm just going to wing it and just do it without anything. I'm going to... I saw Brenda doing it last night, so if she can do it, I'm gonna work it out. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just gonna angle you down a bit. I oh, that should be good. And so, what are you guys doing today? It's a nice, it's a nice sunny day out there. It's a little bit cold, and there's a lot of snow, but it's a good day to stay in and do art and crafts. I hope you uh, get to do some today. So you just take a little hunk of clay and you just warm it up in your hands. It, it's better when it's a bit warm. 
and this stuff just air dries and I'm really surprised how um, hard it is. Um, I had a bag of them already made and it uh, the bag dropped on the floor and not one of them broke and it, it was like a pretty fairly big drop like it was like so I was pretty impressed that they didn't break okay so I'm gonna do this B here and maybe this crown for my friend Harv she's a she's queen of uh, Tiverton so I better do a crown in her honor she's self-proclaimed though so does that count does it count sure I'll give it to you her okay so you press it in and then you uh, squeegee it out there's my I have a I have a cricket maker so I have a little s squeegee I like to use and just flatten it and these molds are wonderful they're expensive but you know, if you do a lot of them, they're really worth it. It adds so much texture to your furniture, to your furniture or to wood or, yeah, it's, they're just great. Okay, so. Actually, I saw somebody on um, Facebook, they were, I saw somebody on Facebook, they were doing um, on a book cover they antiqued and painted the book cover and then they added this. Oh man, it looked nice. So that's a, another good way of using it. Okay, so here it just pops out of the mold. So it just popped out. And I have a little bee. Ooh. Okay. Um, I have a little bee. They're really cute with all that texture and stuff. And then I'm just going to... I'm just going to glue it onto a piece of wood. Uh, I'm just going to glue it onto this piece of wood. And then when it's all dry, I will uh, paint it later. use um, wood glue you just use wood glue and you're all set so here it is oh man it's really bright there there we go so you just uh, use some wood glue and then I think I'll I think I'll do uh, of trim here. I'm gonna, do another, I'm gonna do another piece of trim. I'm gonna do this. I think I might do this uh, little, a little piece of this and then I'll do the crown too. So I have some left over here and you just warm it up in your hands and you uh, push it into the mold. So I'll show you, just, you just push it into the mold. It's so easy, it's like, did any of you guys do Play-Doh when you were a kid? Like, it's so much fun. Who doesn't like Play-Doh? Hello. So it gives you permission to do some Play-Doh and have some memories of when you were a kid and, and just play. Like, oops that right on my B, but oh well, it didn't work it. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one out. So here's the, uh, here's the flower. I'm gonna put some glue on the back. I'm gonna put it up here. You know what, I'm gonna put it to the side. So this is what I've got so far. And then I'm gonna put a crown. I 
might just do a small crown. I think I think the large crown is a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna do a small crown. So what have you been working on? Um, I got lots of things in the works. I um, I'm learning, well, I'm learning how to do these videos, which is a, which is a challenge. But even just getting, like, it horizontal and your words aren't backwards, um, I'm learning. I'm learning so much, and going live, and I'm just gonna keep going live and practicing, and doing a bunch of projects, and then I'm going to. Um, on YouTube I'm I will <laughs> like Sonia Miller Gro says I will post some of these videos I'm going to edit some and I'm going to post them on YouTube on Monday so my YouTube channel is going to be called lumber mill and I won't definitely want to get out when the snow is being or the weather is being a little bit more cooperative I want to get some really good lives and some filming from um, from the lumber mill but uh, right now I'm just gonna stick indoors so you'll see me popping on live I'm so glad you joined me and you'll see me popping on live um, I think this is my third day in a row but you'll see me popping on live a lot um, I'm definitely going to pop on again tomorrow. Um, I'm going to aim for 10 o'clock again because it really makes me productive. I'm learning so much. I'm learning how to do lives. I'm getting some stuff done for the market and I'm just being creative and I get to share it. And if this helps anyone, which I hope it does, um, that's all great. So here's what I have I don't want to overdo it I changed I changed my mind so I don't want to overdo it I think I'm gonna leave it at that so thanks for popping on um, if you found this this um, video interesting uh, give me a like a share maybe a heart and uh, leave a comment leave a comment I love love commenting I love chatting so come on here and chat with me if you have any questions let me know and if you have anything you want to see me do I have a lot of stuff I want to cover in these videos I want to do some wood burning I want to do some alcohol links I definitely want to do woodworking, lots of woodworking. I want to get in the shop and do a whole bunch of woodworking and I'll show you guys how to use the scroll saw, how to use the table saw, the miter saw, um, the band saw. I'm just going to do a bunch of woodworking and, and sanding and stuff and getting in the workshop and I'm really excited to show you guys how. I'm just waiting for it to warm up a bit. Um, but yeah, if you have any videos you want to um, see, let me know. And thanks for coming out. Okay, thanks. Bye.